At the end of this year, we hand over the baton as City of Culture to Coventry. My Facebook feed keeps popping up memories from 2017 when we hosted the Methodist Art Collection in a shop unit in Princess Quay. Battered and Birthed was an exhibition that invited us to reflect on where we all feel at sea, battered by what's going on, and where we feel safely anchored, birthed in a place of calm. This year, the, the Methodist Art Collection have produced an online resource called Paintings, Prayers and Carols for Christmas 2020. And I thought it might be good to have another look at some of the paintings that we had in Hull and reflect on them again together. So the picture that I've chosen today is Francis Hoyland's Nativity and it's painted with oil on canvas. Peace on earth and goodwill to all men. The shepherds hard at work in the middle of the cold winter night are sat, keeping warm by the fire, watching for wolves, keeping the sheep safe. These key workers are overlooked, paid a pittance and utterly essential to everyone sleeping comfortably in their cosy beds. These rough men scraping a living ignored and made fun of by those who are secretly grateful they don't have to do such menial work, are sat trying to keep warm, trying to keep awake when something mysterious and unexplainable happens. In the midst of life that batters them, they are told about peace in the darkness and they're shown dark light and the despair they are offered hope and they share it all. And thousands of years later, we share it too, generation to generation, because the story goes on. Peace on earth and goodwill to all men. Three backpackers travel through dangerous territory. The major I have heard about this light and hope. They're people who have good education, money that allows them to study, and all the opportunities that that brings. But the draw of a new light in the darkness a journey they don't really know the conclusion to, that captivates and draws them, a hope that things can be different. In the midst of life that stretches them out of their comfort zone, they're told about peace. In the darkness they're shown light, and in the despair of the journey they're offered hope. And they share it all. And thousands of years later we share it too, generation to generation. Joseph pushes the pram as they leave quickly and quietly, keeping their heads down as they run from the nuclear attack or from the warfare in the Congo. Images we don't often put into our Christmas nativities or onto our Christmas cards. But in the midst of life that batters them, they are told about peace and they hold on to it as they run. In the darkness they are shown light and in the despair they are offered hope and they share it all. And thousands of years later, we share it too, generation to generation. And we join together in the journey of Advent and remind ourselves that this is part of a big story. And even when we're battered, there is peace and light and hope and we can be birthed.